Following an SU announcement of gender neutral bathrooms across our campuses, we investigated the knowledge and accessibility of these bathrooms. Um, we haven't got any negative feedback um, and the university seems content with the, um, the rollout and how that, that actually pro progressed as well. Do you think people as a whole know that they're there? I think that the awareness campaign that was run was via the newsletter that DCU SU put out. It was on the LGBT society pages um, and ourselves, we pushed it at the time. I know the College View wrote an article about it that, that, that did actually get a lot of traction. And um, as regards the university side of things, I don't know how much it was pushed or if it was pushed. I haven't seen them anywhere. So effectively what the SU have done is they've put a new sticker on the second and third story, disabled toilets, and, and they've labelled them gender neutral toilets. What do you think of that? Um, well, I'd probably never go into them because they are disabled toilets, so I would, I'd feel bad to go in and then a disabled person might be waiting outside for the toilet, you know, so I probably wouldn't go into them then. Um, I think they're great because, you know, I could want to be a boy and, you know, one day I could want to be a girl, so I think it's fair. Are you aware of or have you seen any gender neutral bathrooms on DCU and what's your opinion on them? I haven't seen any, but I would be absolutely in favour of them. I think it's, it's a time and a place, it's time to move on, get used to the real world. Well, what about the disabled access then? Um, I'd say that it would be better to have gender neutral bathrooms and disabled bathrooms as separate. Tucked away at the postgraduate research room in Henry Grattan's second story, this is one of DCU's universal access bathrooms. This, like all of DCU's gender neutral bathrooms, is a formerly disabled access only bathroom. The only change, a sticker on the door. Mia Canal, DCU TV News. Thank you.